this is our MSE Greniosa Fantastica Balcony Cabin Tour. Um, so we are in room 1212251. So let's go and have a bit of a look. Just use my wrist to open the door, which is great. MSC is still using the wristband technology at the moment, uh, which is a good touch. So immediately as we come in, we can see the bathroom here. Let's just go in. Compact bathroom. Um, we're pretty used to it on MSE, but it's very functional. Um, shower is here. So let's just start off here. Door, which is a solid door rather than a shower curtain, which I love. Um, we've also got sort of the step up. Um, I think, oh, I believe it's for the ladies so they can show their legs. Toilets down there. Yeah. Rolled up towel just there. Bit of space here so you can put all your lotions and potions. Uh, this is where we've got sort of a towel rack. Um, there is the sink here. Uh, makeup mirror or shaving mirror there. There we go. Hi guys. I'm showing off my brand new uh, hoodie. Cruise Boys hoodie. So let's go back out. A couple of hooks here to hang some clothes. Hook on the door for your towels. Let's just come back out here. Let's do another quick pan of the bathroom so you can see what it looks like. There we go. And then back into the room. Right here, we've got our lights. Temperature control. So if you want to make up your room here or do not disturb us here, which is good. Um, card holder is in there. Um, so that's just to turn the electricity on and just some the main cabin lights here. Uh, there's a full length mirror here. Once again on formal night to look your best. Coming over to the side, we've got a bit of a different configuration to what we've had before. Um, so on other MSC ships, we've had the double bed over near the window um, and we've had a sofa bed on the other side of the room. So everything's all sort of a bit sort of mixed, mixed around to how we usually, or what we've usually experienced before. But this is good to have a different configuration. Josh is super, super excited about the fact that he's got a double bed, uh, sorry, uh, a bunk bed there as well. Cause uh, the youngest one of our cruise family, Bunny is already uh, crashed out. Uh, we had a bit of an incident with Bunny, but uh, we can definitely uh, give you an update that on one of our future vlogs. And this is what the bed looks like, or the sofa looks like with uh, the bunk bed pulled down. So we asked our room attendant to, to take it down. Just gives us a little bit more room and it was feeling a little bit claustrophobic. Spinning across here, we've got our wardrobes here. It's a bit all standard sort of MSC wardrobes. So let's just go and have a quick sneak peek. So here in the Grandiosa, you've got um, some uh, floor to ceiling sort of cupboards and drawers. You can put all your bits and pieces in. Um, quite deep drawers. Um, from memory, they hold quite a bit. Bit of a safe. Safe is a bit small. Um, I think it's only just gonna get our wallets. Um, mobile phones, maybe an iPad in there. Uh, nothing too big, but at least it kind of hides the essentials. Oh, if I can just uh, open this again. Wardrobe space, um, it's okay. It's pretty decent. Uh, it is uh, got quite a few hangers in there as well. And it uh, isn't obstructed. So if you've got long hanging sort of dresses or anything like that, um, then that should be fine. Up the top, there's a bit more space as well. We usually just shove in some, uh, some like jumpers and things like that as well. Moving along to the bed, uh, it is a nice big, uh, I would say queen size bed. MSC beds are quite comfortable, so we never have a bad sleep. Uh, the color scheme here on Grandiosa is more with sort of ready sort of tone, uh, brownie red, uh, which is okay. It's quite nice. Um, it's good to see uh, that Grandiosa being sort of more of the older ships that we've been on um, of the Marabilia class um, has um, 
not, you know, I would have expected to be a bit worn in places and that, but it's pretty, it's held up pretty good. Um, as you can see, this is the bed, so the side lights. Let me just check, because on the other ones, and there it is, yep, there's a USB port there. So you can plug in your mobile, which is nice to have uh, at night. Light switches there. There's another light, little light there as well, which is good, like a reading light. Uh, down here is just a, a couple of sort of side drawers to stall things. Coming back out through the cabin as well, another lovely big mirror here. Just looking back at the bed, don't know if you like to look at yourself in bed. Um, not something I uh, tend to do. Um, over here is the phone, so rather being on the desk, the phone is sort of on the wall here. Uh, this is where they sort of put all their brochures and bits and pieces there as well. Coming over to the other side of the bed, once again we have a lamp that's also got the USB uh, plug in there as well to charge all your mobile devices. Light switch here just turns the lights on and off uh, up here, which is nice. Okay. Uh, right, so spinning around, we've got here the desk area. Uh, quite a big desk, uh, plenty of room, lots of shelves to um, just put all your odds and sods in there. Lots of drawer space, quite deep as well. That's where the hairdryer lives. So you can just see down here, they are really deep drawers. So plenty of stuff to put in there. All those lovely sort of phone cables and bits and pieces that you never end up using. Under here, there's a couple of like a, a chest of stools and we've used them previously for tables uh, and just a separate chair for Josh to sit on. Um, at the moment, during COVID measures, everything is sort of packaged up, um, which is nice, so you know that it's nice and clean. Once again, another mirror over the desk as well. So there's plenty of mirrors in this room. Uh, it gives it that sort of sense of space. Um, there is some other uh, sort of shelves here where you can store things. So we've got here also on the desk Zoe, which is our personal assistant. Let's see if Zoe works. She never tends to work for us. Okay, Zoe. Okay, Zoe. No, as you can see, it doesn't work. Uh, we've also got a couple of chocolate chips um, and a nice bottle of fizz and some macaroons. Um, that's basically because of our loyalty status. So, um, plug-wise, let's just have a quick look. Um, as you can see here on the desk, we've got a couple of USB. Uh, that looks like uh, American plug sockets as well. I haven't actually, oh, yep, they're over here. I thought, haven't seen any European sockets, but there they are there, there's two there. So there's plenty of sockets there, which is great. Um, being from the UK, we just bring in an adapter with us. Down here, uh, the other thing I missed was uh, the fridge, uh, which is locked. So we won't be getting into that. Not that we do. Bins down here as well. Um, Eco-friendly these days is sort of food, paper and normal waste, which is good. Uh, and if we spin around here as well, this is the bunk bed. So top bed, I think bunk is where Josh is going to sleep. And uh, Bunny's already crashed out after his big adventures here in Valletta today and his bunk down here. Um, as you can see, they put the sort of sofa cushions up there. So I would assume that this sort of all just sort of kind of folds down into a sofa so that uh, if this room's being used just for two people, they can use this area as a sofa area. So that's the cabin. Um, we're just gonna quickly go out and have a look at the balcony as well. Um, balcony's an okay, decent size. So let me just pull the door open. There's Josh, do you wanna say hello? There we go. And there's Tristan. There we go. So yeah, balcony wise, okay, the three of us can stand out here. Um, it's it's as big as princess, I would it say. It is, I'd say it was a bit, as big as our, our nice standard private, princess. You're yeah. Covered in nicely, so if you're out yeah. at sea, you're not too bad. But yeah. it's big enough for we go. two, three of us can sit yeah. out here quite comfortably. So that's kind of the balcony size. We've got, as I say, two chairs and sort of this foot, uh, this, this tabley sort of footstool. Josh uses it generally as, a, as another chair. Uh, well, here today in the amazing port of Valletta. This is where we embarked. We love Valletta. It's probably one of our favorite sailing out destinations as well. 
Um, so that is our cabin tour. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, like, comment and share.